Okay, basically what we've got here is we've got mild, and then we go to medium, and we go to suicidal, and then we go back to barbecue. So we're going to say, okay, now when you guys go to take wings in the restaurants, almost everybody gets the table, gets the medium ones. Mm -hmm. Because everybody at the table, but you say, you know, there's so many different flavors now. You know, what? let's have some different fun with different flavors. Okay, so if we look at this, we go, ooh, that looks pretty good there. We've got some mild wings back here in this corner. Okay, and what are we going to try with that one? We're going to try a dogfish head craft brewed shelter pale ale. Okay. Now, I don't know a lot about beers, but let's go ahead and pour these for these guys. From what I'm told by the brewmaster over at Dogfish Head, that Shelter Pale Ale is going to give you a, it works really good depending on the bite of the sauce, but it won't take away from the wing, okay, and it'll get the wing sauce tasting good, if that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Taste the chicken first and then the beer? Taste the chicken first and then the beer, although, again, there's no pretension here, and I happen to have a lot of those cups. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Okay, the second one we're doing, that was Wing Time, which is out in the West Coast, got a little garlic action in there. Second one is Death Con from New Jersey. Okay, in fact, they're all over the stadiums up in the Northeast. Okay, and what we're looking for there, it looks like we're looking for a uh, India Pale Ale. Now, I'm not a beer guy, but again, the India Pale Ale apparently at Dogfish is like a really big seller. Mm -hmm. And what that does is it's a lower carbonation, okay, and it's going to be a little more hoppy. A little more full-bodied, so it takes the medium taste better. Okay, so we can choose whoever wants to try a very mild. That's right here, and a medium one here. So I need a little bit of a. Uh, this goes with the mild. This goes with the mild. Which one is the mild? And that's this one right back here. Okay. I'll do a bite and then a sip. Cool beans. <laughs> Jessica says, "Can I just try the beer and tell you if I like that?" Is there not a well, there's a couple. Well, you know what? Because I'll wait for the next one. Good match. Fruity, good bouquet, and a great finish. What's the barbecue one? No, 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 we're doing the mild. That doesn't go with what you're drinking. Oh, you have to do do this one right here. We do the mild then. Uh -huh. With the pale ale. With the pale ale. Mm -hmm. Got it. It's a little pale I'm ale. I'm waiting for that spicy. So it's a nice, good buffalo taste. Okay. Just what you get if you were at Wings to Go, you get your regular mild or medium tasting. A little garlic action. There's also a little Parmesan cheese in that. Because this is peppers, we can't give you a buffalo wing. We've got to give you a little fun wing. Does that make sense? Okay. How do you think it matched? Yeah, real nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yes. Yeah. Beer goes well. It goes really yeah, good. Really good. Yep. Now the second one is going to amp up the heat a little bit, but just a little bit. Okay. And there we are using a India Pale Ale. A little hoppier, okay? A little more flavorful beer, okay? And that is this one right here. Okie doke. Oops, I need another. Grab this. Yeah, another. Uh, whip, so uh, this is Indian Pale Ale. Indian Pale Ale. Right. And it's also a dogfish head. And that's this one right here. Oh my goodness, Indian Pale Ale. Very good. That's got a DEF CON <laughs> hot sauce, DEF CON 2. He goes 0 to 4. Okay. The two. Okay. This is here. This it's is spicy. Okay. This it's hot. You can do but not, it won't knock you down. This one you promise? Do. Promise. Yes. promise. Yes. Well, it's hot. Yes. I promise. Because the next one will knock you down. Yep. Uh, no yeah. knocking. Oh, I'm, I'm <laughs> waiting for the next one. I mean, this no, is no knocking. knocking. No you knocking. Know, these I'm Virginia girls, hey, well, they, they're ready. Hey, I'm Absolutely. New York. I'm a New Yorker. I'm just drinking the beer. Did it do what it said it was going to do? Is that spicy? So the concept of actually matching beers to the level of heat is working. That's correct. Okay. Now, how about the yeah, flavor I mixing? I, I like the first one was fruity and it was a lighter, sweeter. Cool. This so is awesome. So now we go to a suicide wing, and we're telling the suicide wing we're going to go use a stout with that. Okay. And this is um, the dogfish head chicory stout. So you're not just getting the stout; you're also getting the flavor of the plant. Okay. Look how dark it is too. Now remember. Girls, you were asking me, this is going to be a hot wing. I'm ready to go. Okay. So I don't, that's this one right here. Right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need a. And that's the chicory stout. All right. That's this one? That's that one right there. With the chicory stout. Now here, what you're trying to do is, you're, you're going way full body. Okay. And. Really good match. You're, you're trying to take the dark, the malty concept and offset some of the superheat. Does that make sense? 
beer the beer is sweeter, <laughs> so it helps. Are you scared of that one? Well, I think that's the flavoring no, concept. The scout. What's if anybody? Dogfish Head Brewery right here in Milton and Rehoboth is a nationally known brewery that wins a ton of awards. And what they do, they don't do anything normal. Okay, so he, when he makes a stout, he's making it special. And if he was here, he'd be telling you like 10 million things about it. Okay, to make it a different concept. Okay? I want to taste that. Okay. Now, a lot, of, a lot of people are, are switching over to honey concepts and switching over to barbecue concepts. So now we're going to do a barbecue wing, okay, and we're going to use an amber ale, heavy malt, a malty ale, okay, and it's got a real roasted finish. It's pretty. <laughs> Jessica says the beer is pretty. I like, look at the miniature head in a two ounce container. <laughs> you know. This one right here? That's this one right here, yes, okay, sir. That it. actually looks good. Now, what we used on the barbecue sauce, she used the, the Fat Bastard Hogwash Barbecue Sauce, okay, which is also a very sweet barbecue sauce. So this is, this it's suicidal. It goes well. The one that you I'm not a sweet suicidal. person, but okay. now we it used goes Anchor well. Bar suicide. Nice. Anchor Bar Suicide. Anchor Bar invented chicken wings in Buffalo in 1964. These guys actually invented the concept, okay. The hogwash, okay, also has a lot of solids in it. Okay, so you're gonna taste the onion, you're gonna taste different things on there. And that's this one right here. This is the barbecue. Mm -hmm. So this is not spicy? It is a little teeny bit spicy, but not hardly at all. Well, you can try this one, Tanya. Very mild and very sweet. Now, it's gonna have spice of onions, the spice of garlic, things like that. Very sweet one. Okay. Now, what you're doing there, though, is you're matching a beer that's completely different, a roasted malty beer. Boy, that is different. Okay. Trying to match the flavor of the barbecue Good. with the roasted it's a back heat to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. After you finish it, it hits your back of your throat. That's Interesting. Delicious. So, what do you think, guys? Should we go down to like one of the fancy restaurants down in Rehoboth and say we're oh, taking yes. over Absolutely. the king, Absolutely. the king of wings, and all the guys are coming in saying we're doing chicken wings and matching dogfish head beer. It worked. We proved it. It's Chip Hearn saying, "Have fun at the beach."